maybe I'll get struck by lightning. Jesus, forgive me for my sins. All my sins, even the sins I forgot I committed. In Jesus' name. I was making your video and it disappeared and there was so much lightning and thunder on it. This is over the ocean. So here's the tiki. So still, there's no wind. There's no rain. This thing just shut off before. before the storm. It's too quiet. Something's gonna happen. It's gonna crackle big and loud. Juicy barking. Alright, I'll go just go talk to myself under the TV. I'll be talking to you. Oh, so anyway. Um, I don't know with Lisa. It's sad because I always kept her in my life. And I always loved her. I still love her. And there's certain things that stick out in my mind about her, too, where she would stick up for me with the vet. You know, little things like that where other people wouldn't think twice and just let it go. Girlfriend was my dog, and it was her name, girlfriend, and she got a bad haircut at the vet. And she had beautiful long hair, and they cut it too short. And Lisa knew how much I loved the dog and I took care of her. And, you know, she has a salon and spa, so she understands what goes into it. And she called this, this the vet. I mean, the, um, I'm drinking. She called the salon, the salon. She called the groomers. And she, I just remember her bitching and sticking up for me. Because, you know, they charge like $100 of grooming, and we're going back 20 years. And she was a real backbone. And I was so proud. I was proud of her anyway. I mean, she's my sister, so I always loved her anyway. But when she stood up for me like that, that was the first time anyone's ever stood up for me. Um, I don't know. It made me respect her more. And then she just changed. I don't know why. It was nothing that I did. She just changed. Till this day, I don't know. It baffles me. And I had a lot of issues um, with jealousy. I always did. But for some reason, when I was with the husband, a lot of people turned on me. It was nothing that I did. It was nothing that he did. I was nine and a half years older than him. He spoiled me rotten. On my mom's side. 
really none of my friends had any issues. It was the family. And it hurt me really bad. And then after I got divorced, you know, daddy stayed friends with the husband. And the husband left me with a $450,000 tax lien. I couldn't even have a job because they would, um, what do you call it? They just, I forget what you call it. Anyway, any money that I made or I got, they would take. The bank would seize it. They seized all my accounts. That's what it was. So, I got divorced in 2001. April 13th of 2001 was the day I signed the papers. And my life went to hell. It went to hell actually when Papa died. And it just got worse ever since. And I really never um, recouped after that. Mentally, especially mentally. You know, when you lose your family, I think it's better not to have a family than have a family and then lose it. Like you didn't have a family, well this family, all your life. And you have it now. Imagine losing it for no reason over jealousy when you're generous to these people. So, and it was my mother's brother, my uncle Gabby, and I loved him. He was my godfather and his wife. And they had a daughter, Yvonne. She's a little older than Lisa, so she was always with me. Just bad stuff. Jealousy. I'm not jealous of anybody I've never been. And I'm 55 years old right now. So I don't know why anybody's going to be jealous of me now. But anyway. There's my little short story, Timbo. No thunder.